What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the toy table for another Funko Spotlight. And in today's video, I'm going to be checking out R2-D2. Oh yeah, Target exclusive R2-D2. Uh, these are the graffiti ones. Uh, they actually... Uh, C-3PO and um, Jawa, which at first, before I actually saw this one in person, uh, the Jawa was definitely my favorite because of the camouflage. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, but if you saw my hunt video, you saw me find this. And when I saw this thing in person uh, and I started noticing some of the subtle differences between the two, it sort of intrigued me. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll tell you what, let me get this thing unwrapped and we'll check it out. All right. So, we got the cellophane off. I didn't want you guys having to hear that. So, uh, let's talk about this for a little bit. Now, a lot of people, when it comes to these pops, uh, a, lot of them, a lot of people are like, you know, it costs too much. But in reality, I think you're getting a pretty good deal. Uh, you get the pop, plus you get a hard stack, which hard stacks are like 10 bucks, but um, that's, it sort of equals out a little bit, but let's get him out and check him out. I will say that, I will say this, the hard stacks for these pops, the they actually sort of stay together. <laughs> they seem to be actually really good hard stacks. Um, but anyway, here we go, out of the box right there. Or we'll take a look at him in the box. These, the boxes themselves actually are really cool. Uh, again, Target exclusive. Uh, there's a cool little story here on the back. Funko is proud to introduce the first pop co collaboration with graffiti icon, a uh, passionate Star Wars fan, Futura. This series combines Futura's abstract artistic style that incorporates both text and imaginary with his favorite uh, Star Wars characters in Funko Pop form. So that's actually really cool. And if you saw my hunt video, you you picked up on the differences I saw. I always thought these things were like identical. And the R2-D2, if you saw my video, they're not. They're subtle differences. And now I'm curious if the C-3PO and Jawa are the same as this with these subtle differences. But let's get R2 out of the box and check him out. Because I am very anxious to actually see it out of box. I'm also curious to see... Uh, I probably already know the answer to this, but I'm curious to see if it actually come off the base, which I doubt it will. But yeah, here you go, out of the box, right there. Um, now, this is the first time I've seen the back of it, and I'm telling you right now, the graffiti and stuff on the back is awesome, but let's uh, take a look here. Let me show you this first. So this side right here was what I showed in the video between the two, the this one that I picked up actually had the red here on the left upper arm uh, or leg. The other one didn't, and I thought that was cool. But check out this back graffiti right here. This is cool. I'm telling you right now, this is a cool looking pop. And it's so much cooler looking in person than I would have ever imagined just by looking at it from the pictures. But you can see some of the graffiti right here it's it's got a lot going on i mean the black and white uh sort of zebra print i actually dig it i, I do actually dig it more now that i've seen it uh, i do wish it would come off the base uh, that's my own little pet peeve right there but uh it's it's a good looking pop very good looking um i can't wait to actually see the other two in person uh because like I said, I noticed things when I was looking at it um, in the store. So I think that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to uh, seeing these in the future. Uh, future, future. <laughs> Is to see if there's actually any differences in it. But there's still a lot of great detail with this, uh, with this pop. You can still, even with the zebra print, 
or pattern, you can still see a lot of great detail right here. But each individual piece of graffiti is just so cool looking. Now, I will say this. Um, I sort of wish this graffiti here was on the front because, unfortunately, you're not going to see it unless you take it out of the box. And I think we've missed out on a little bit of a point here because if you look at the front of the legs here and here, but then flip it around to the back, you've got graffiti here and you've got graffiti here. So there's definitely a lot more graffiti on the back of the pop than there is on the front. I don't fully understand why, but, uh, hey, it is what it is. I'm, I'm overall, I mean, it's, it's just a good looking pop. And even underneath the head right there, you can see the, the pattern actually goes up underneath. Um, the one thing that's interesting is the fact that it's R2D2 and it's really hard for me to, with this black dot right here uh i'm actually wondering if i need to put a stylized right there I'm, I'm gonna have to go through my stylized uh, stickers to see if one matches or would look good on it uh it also comes with a really cool back card in the box which i dig so there's a lot of really neat things about this pop and i've i've seen comments from people some people they like the futura series some people don't i have a few I actually got the Boba Fett, um, and I've actually got the Darth Vader. So, me personally, I, I look at these not necessarily from a Funko Pop perspective, but more of an art piece. And I do consider this an art piece, just for that simple fact. So, maybe when you when you approach seeing these, and the purest in you is like, oh, it shouldn't be that way, it should be R2-D2. Try to look at it from uh, an art an art perspective or an artist's point of view. And I think you it might make a little sense. So I'm definitely going to try to find Jawa uh, and C-3PO. I didn't have any luck. I doubt. I honestly, I don't know if I'll ever find them in the store. But if I do, I'll probably pick them up because uh, I just think they're cool. I think it's a cool way to be artistic and... Um, I think it was achieved. I think they uh, they really hit this one out of the out of the park. So yeah, don't give it a give it a second thought next time you you see it. Don't just you know cast it aside as is not a cool looking pop because it actually is a really cool pop. And I'm a huge graffiti fan. I love graffiti. I think graffiti's cool. So uh, yeah, it works for me, but. I don't know. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think. Um, what you think about this pop. Let me know uh, yay, nay. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Um, that's, that's, the beauty th that's the beauty of opinions. Uh, we all have our opinions and we all like things for different reasons. So I'm really curious to hear what you think in regards to this uh, Futura r2d2 right here and the fact that it comes in a pop stack let me know that as well but anyway guys i uh, can't wait to uh, take some photos of this i got to try to figure out where though i'm thinking that i want to do this one with other graffiti graffiti uh, so i don't know yet but follow me on instagram and that way you'll know when i take a photo of this but anyway guys that's gonna be it for this uh pop spotlight of the Futura R2-D2 Target exclusive with its own pop stack. Um, make sure and let me know what you think. Also, if this is your first time your cha my channel, make sure and hit that subscribe button and make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. But And also, don't forget, I've got a 10,000 subscriber giveaway going on. Make sure and enter that. It's real easy. Go to that video. But uh, that's it. So until the next video, guys, always remember toys and graffiti Funko Pops. Refresh your soul, and I'll see you next time.